Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross from PTCG Radio, and I'm back with another deck, and another game from PTCGO. Now I'm using my TDK deck again. Like the previous video, I'm trying to prove a point here. So what you're going to see here is a Plasma Mirror Match. Now if you go back to my Plasma list, you'll see it's built for consistency. Lots of supporters, bikes... Um, and fairly simple. Now since then, I believe, and I might be wrong about this, but I believe in this video I've dropped a Genesect for, uh, and a Deoxys for an Absol and a Kyura, making my deck more consistent. I've also cut down to free Muscle Band in order to fit a second Lassonde. So you see there, I mulligan twice, and then I draw four Pokémon no supporter. That's just mean, ladies and gentlemen. But these things happen, we've got to work around them. And it's ironic that I go on about consistency and then that happens. However, and I don't have a supporter, but what I do have is a Thunderous Active, and a Kyurem on the bench, and a Deoxys on the bench, and an Absol on the bench if I want it. And actually, I've got an energy attachment, so it's not the end of the world. Now I'm choosing... Oh, sorry, I am putting the Absol down there. And I'm hoping to draw a supporter, or... I mean, if my opponent's smart, he won't end me, because you'll see I haven't played a supporter. But, as long as I draw an energy and such, I'll be alright in the future. So he goes for the Thunderous, he's got to uh, Deoxys out. And one thing you'll see as we go along in this game, I know you see it already, my opponent's trying to be clever. He is... Now, first of all, he's Juniper, a Shauna, and two Skylar. That's silly. He's going to draw dead in supporters later on. But you see there already, you've seen Frozen City. Well, that's, you know, no good because I'm clearly playing a Plasma deck. And he's got Lugia and he's got Raichu, which I, when I'm sitting here as an opponent and I see my opponent playing this stuff, my first thought is, beautiful, my deck's more consistent than his. So I'm not mucking around with this stuff. So I don't draw a supporter, but what I do see is a... Um, a laser and a Verbank, and I know that he's probably not playing that many switch cards. Um, if I had to guess, I'd guess he was playing a couple of Floatstone. And the reason I know he's not playing that many switch cards is, first of all, he's got Raichu that's got free retreat. But second of all, in order to make way for the stuff you need for Lugia and for your Raichu lines, you're going to need to cut some space somewhere. Now, I'm quite comfortable playing my Scramble Switch and free Escape Rope. And you'll see that I really am having a torrid start. But I'm not down and out yet. You see, I'm, you know, I haven't lost yet. And it sucks having a slow start. And you'll see that I'm still not drawing a supporter. Third turn, one energy, no supporters. It sucks, ladies and gentlemen. But my opponent's deck, even though he has drawn supporters, and he, you know, he screwed himself over by, um... Juna bring free, so essentially using four supporters turn one. And what that's allowed him to do is basically not be able to draw anything now. I have no sympathy for him. He had four supporters turn one and he screwed it up. Play the Shauna or play the Skylar. But there I'm able to empty my hand, play a bicycle to four, and there, ladies and gentlemen, we are rocking and rolling. I can use a plasma ball to get another Deoxys. And all of a sudden... I'm going. Now, I am going to Juniper a Skylar here, and um, the reason, very simply, is firstly, I need energy. Secondly, between my power pad and all of my supporters, I am very confident I ain't drawing dead for the rest of this game. Yes, I've had a couple of bad turns where I don't draw a supporter, but the fact that I've got so many means that I'm going to be doing alright for the rest of the game. And here I'm rolling. My opponent has been poisoned and not drawn an out, partly because he's trying to do too much in his deck, and partly because he junipered three supporters turn one. And that's just getting me an easy KO. Now, there, I could actually have gotten the KO with Thunderous. I didn't, and here's why. I want him to die of poison coming into my turn, um, which he will if he doesn't get the retreat. And you see there, he's going to get the retreat, but... What this means is that I can get the KO from the residual bench damage from Kyurem. I can hit the active with Kyurem for at least 50, 70 if I can get a muscle band, or even um, 100 with a laser, and he's going to die from residual damage. That's amazing. 
the kind of 30 bench damage. Now if I grab an escape rope here and he puts the damage Deoxys active, which he should, even under that circumstance, I'm still getting to hit something on the bench as well as getting the KO. So I'm fine with this. This is good. So I'm going to play, um, I assume I'm going to play the escape rope here. It's been a couple of days since I played this game. But I'm having a look here and I like it. I'm getting the first uh, two KOs. I'll oh, the first two prizes, the first KO. And I'm going to be getting some damage to his bench as well. So I'm going to play an energy here and I'm going to retreat. Essentially, you could argue I wasted the Skylar there. I'm probably going to want that escape rope next turn, so I don't feel too bad about it. But you see there, I get the KO with the residual damage, and I get to do 50 to his Thunderous, and I poison him. Now he's going to wake up, and it's going to be an easy retreat, and he's probably going to get the KO with Lugia here. But that all that's going to do is even us up on prizes. I'm playing to Lassonde. He's got a half-dead um, Thunderous on the bench, and... I'm really not worried at this stage. No, admittedly, I've got a half-dead Thunderous on the bench, but I know I'm playing Lassand. I don't know that he is. So he brings up the Lugia, and he's going to get the easy KO here. But the thing that I'm thinking here is, well, he's not getting the one-hit KO on my Thunderous, because I'm the maximum he's doing, if he puts a Muscle Band down here, is 160. So he's not getting free prize off me anytime soon. So I'm going to have a quick look at my discard pile there. I haven't actually played a Colrus machine, and I've only used one Colrus energy. Ah, uh, sorry, plasma energy. And I look at his bench, and I look at my setup, and I can see that I'm actually going to be doing 120 with Absol, which raises to 140 with the two Deoxys on the bench, which goes up to 170 with Laser. So if I pop that rainbow energy down, if I hit a Colrus machine and either a... Muscle Band or a Deoxys, bearing in mind that I'm Colrissing to 9, I've got a KO here. And, I mean, I only did that because I had all three Colrus Machine left in my deck. Statistically, I was going to hit one. I did. I've also hit the Muscle Band, and when you consider the amount of Balls and Muscle Band and Deoxys and all left in my deck, I was likely to do so. And I'm doing the mass here, but I'm going to get the KO with Absol. And what you can see here, essentially, is that my opponent has got his tricks, he's got a Raichu on the bench, and he's got his Lugia getting two prizes. But my decks, after the initial stutter, which annoys me because I'm playing a lot of supporters, but blah, 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 is going quite nicely. He gets the KO, sorry, I get the first KO, he answers it. But then I'm getting a KO on that Lugia for two energy. Now here, if he is able to get a DCE and another bench Pokemon, he's going to get the KO with Raichu, but... I'm not so worried about that. I mean, Thunderous with a Muscle Band or another Deoxys is getting the KO for one energy and attaching energy to a bench Pokemon ready to get more KOs. So this really doesn't worry me at all at this stage. I'm quite frankly feeling pretty good. And if he doesn't hit the DCE and the extra bench Pokemon or Muscle Band, then... I'm getting a guaranteed KO with Absol, going down to one prize, getting an energy attachment, etc. And there's going to be little he can do. And the fact that he's paused for so long here makes me think I've won the game, because essentially, if he had a DCE, he'd have played it. If he had a good supporter, he'd have played it. At this stage, he's pretty much just wasting time. So in my previous video, and spoilers, go back and watch it if you haven't, it was one about Enhanced Hammer, you saw TDK taking down a deck which was prepared for it and played Enhanced Hammer. Here you are seeing essentially a Plasma Mirror match, but what this video is supposed to illustrate to you guys is the importance of straightforward consistency. No tricks, all basic Pokemon, lots of supporters, laser and muscle band, and I've got the KOs there ready. My opponent, he's got Raichu for Evil Tal, although you don't need it with Thunderous, as I showed in a previous, a couple of previous videos. And he's got Lugia to take easy prizes. But at the end of the day, it's not adding up to a huge amount. It's less than the sum of its parts. As always, if you like this video, make sure you tick the thumbs up like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Tell all your friends. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.